Good? Good. Hey, it's me, Nick Baku. Wait. Yeah, 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 it's me, it's me. Uh, so, actually, I kind of stopped filming and vlogging as soon as I landed in LA. Through the entire trip, I was just flabbergasted and so excited to be there that I didn't really feel or want to turn on my camera. I didn't feel like being an idiot and moving around my camera to film things. So that's why that is all the footage I really got from my trip. I really wanted to capture my footage because that's what I've been doing all year around for all my trips this year because it's been an incredible year. But I was having so much fun that I didn't want to turn on the camera. And for some reason, this trip, I kind of had the mindset of, you know what, I just want to live in the moment and just remember this as a memory and not exactly taint it with being on video which i know it's a weird thing to say there are many things on the internet where people just post pictures and videos and vlogs about things but i feel like sometimes that detracts from the true experience you're too busy trying to get a perfect shot or make something look cool where you could just be experiencing it just experiencing life at its fullest and i feel like to sometimes to do that you just need to turn the camera off not worry about posting and just live it. That's kind of why my mindset was to not videotape anything. But I'm certainly going to tell you now. After I got picked up by my friend Kristen Powell, we went to go eat. Because I hadn't eaten anything really much that day. We went to a place called Saute? Satella? I don't know. I kept on calling it Saute because it sounded funny. But it was like a long road strip of a bunch of Asian foods. We had a little Asian foods on the trip for whatever reason, but we had some really nice ramen and just got a chill. Again, it's Los Angeles weather, so it was 70 degrees, sunny the entire trip versus here it was about 40 degrees, rainy and rainy. Now, some of you guys know that I'm currently on a diet and been working out a lot, but I felt like this trip, I would bend the rules a bit. So I allowed myself to eat foods I wouldn't normally eat on my diet and drink things that I wouldn't normally drink, like alcohol. Immediately after we had ramen, we went to a karaoke bar. I always wanted to go to one of these, but I've never had the chance to do so. I had a couple of drinks and I got up and sang Heat of the Moment, Everybody Wants to Rule the World by myself. I got the crowd uh, going on and singing it with me. That was a lot of fun. And then me and Kristen sang Somebody to Love, which I don't know why she picked that. That's an incredibly difficult song to sing. Ugh, we did not do a great job singing that, but we got a random guy in the audience to step up with the microphone and he sang along with us. It was a ton of fun. Immediately after that, we went to a bar that Kristen likes to frequent called Moms. And I guess the culture of the bar is just a bunch of, or a DJ that has blares a bunch of dance music. And it's not exactly a club, it's more of a bar, but there's a large dancing aspect. I went ham because you guys know I'm a crazy dancer. I even got the DJ to give me a shout out because I was dancing right in front of uh, the DJ and I got her to stop playing the music for like a split second and say, I want to dance with that guy. I cheered, everybody cheered. It was a rick roaring good time. Saturday, we went to the Pinata District, which I 
am gonna get this wrong, but it was a couple of streets where there was a lot of Hispanic culture, a lot of like tents on the sidewalks where they were just selling all kinds of Hispanic cultural items like food vendors and just, just a lot of things. Mostly piñatas as the name suggests. Apparently this district makes piñatas for America. They just make all the piñatas for the entire country and they just send them all over the world. So you get a piñata, it's probably from that district. We then drove downtown to kind of check out the area since I don't really, since last time when I went to LA. We then drove to downtown LA, which I hadn't been there last time. I vacationed in LA a couple years ago, so that was kind of neat driving through there. Then we went to Little Tokyo, which I've been there last time I went to LA. And it was nice being back there again. We actually went to a sushi conveyor belt restaurant where the sushi comes by on a conveyor belt. Not sure if that is just a trendy thing or a usual thing, but it was super cool to have all the sushis come up on dishes, like on this conveyor belt. And when you ordered something specific, it would like charge up on a higher conveyor belt and just like stop right immediately at your seat. So you just took the plate. And after you're done with the plate, you put the plate like in this little slot that was right next, that was like ran flush with the table and the, it, the thing would just <laughs> suck up the plate and you would be charged by how many plates you put back in. It's a really cool place. We went to go back to Kristen's place and we had a little bit of a nap. I actually brought recording equipment with me on the trip because I want to do a podcast with Kristen with our Flick Your Pick with Ben and Nick podcast. Those should be up in the coming weeks. We talked about her job as a person that goes to a bunch of different cities and interacts with police officers to try to learn more and train police officers to do more. It was a very interesting conversation, one that I normally don't get to talk about or necessarily want to talk about, not because I don't like it, just because it's a subject that I'm not well versed in. But I learned a lot from that conversation, and if you're into kind of politics and just that kind of social aspect of the world, I would highly recommend you check out that podcast whenever that comes. It should be out pretty soon with in the next two weeks. So that was kind of a heavy-handed podcast, so we shifted to talk about foster dogs. Kristen likes to take in foster dogs to take care of them and just maintain them so then when they finally do find a good owner, she is already, can send the dog right on its way to live with its owners. So we talked about dogs and who doesn't like talking about dogs. After the podcast, we got guzzied up and went on the night for the town. We went to Koreatown and we went to a place called Quarters, which I guess is the best Korean barbecue in in LA so the wait time was fairly long for that so we had to put in our reservations for that we got a little couple drinks at the open bar in there which was pretty cool but then I looked up a specific bar I am a huge fan of the television show new girl and they are always in a bar a very specific interesting looking bar now researching about this bar from the TV show the outside picture of the bar during the shows that's actually another bar but the interior of the bar is a place called The Prince, which so happens to be in Koreatown, which I, the, the other place was in Koreatown, wasn't a very far walk, we didn't go there, but it was crazy to have this pretty famous bar, at least to me and uh, my circle of friends, be within walking distance of where we were. We walked up to this place, totally was not expecting this is what this bar would look like on the outside, but when we went inside this bar called The Prince in Los Angeles in Koreatown, our jaws dropped to the floor. We, it was like stepping onto the set, stepping into the actual TV show. It was just incredible how much it matched the actual show. Now, season one of New Girl, they filmed in that specific bar, but subsequent seasons, they recreated the bar on a film studio set. So it was still incredible to be at that bar though. We had Old Fashions, which is a reference to a very funny New Girl episode, and we just had a blast being in there. Eventually our time was running out and we went back to quarters to our reservations. Now I have a great Korean barbecue place that I frequent to, and I hate to admit it, but my god, that Korean barbecue was freaking out of this world. I couldn't even remember everything we had, but we had some incredible foods. The bulgogi, 
was delicious. That's my favorite Korean barbecue, and that's kind of the only one I really remember. Now, this place has a weird policy where if you want to take a shot with the waiter, the waiter has to take the shot with you. So I took a shot with the waiter. It was so much fun. After our bellies were full and the hype was still going on from actually being in the new girl bar, we went back to Kristen's place and just relaxed a little bit, unwinded a bit, and we just watched some new girl episodes. It was a fantastic evening. Definitely, probably, most likely one of my favorite nights of my entire life. Sunday came and I didn't have a lot of time to be around since my flight left around at 2.50 p.m. Los Angeles time. So we kept it pretty minor what we did. First thing what we did is we went to the beach. We wanted to go to the Manhattan Beach, but we accidentally drove a little bit further and ended up on Hermosa Beach. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we chilled around there. Now we tried to bring a, I'm not sure what you call it, one of the surfboards where you stand on and you have a paddle and you just stand on and paddle. We brought the board, but not the paddle, making that entire effort useless and unfortunately the board was so big that we had to fit it in Kristen's car that it I had to sit in the second or in the back seat while Kristen drove and we just had this big old board in between us. It was kind of sad because I like, this entire time I was like sitting right next to her as we were driving around and I don't know it felt like a weird disconnect but it makes for a funny story. Then we just kind of walked around the area and shopped around and I found this amazing souvenir that perfectly sums up my trip. And then after that, we had to go say our separate ways. Kristen dropped me off at LAX. We hugged, said goodbye. It was sad. And I left a beautiful city. Definitely one of my top favorite trips I've ever been. Been going on a lot of trips by myself this year and it's, this one was hard to beat the Chicago one. They're, they're up there for different reasons, but definitely this was a trip that I'll remember for the rest of my life. It was incredible. So that was just a little quick recap of what I did on my LA trip. I'm sorry I didn't take any footage. I was just having too much goddamn fun. So thank you everyone so much if you're still listening to this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.